Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a .wav audio file. Now a reason you want to be doing this is maybe you have to submit an audio track that's in a .wav format that's maybe done for answering machines or something along those lines, but .wav is the highest quality audio you can actually have. It's uncompressed and usually the file sizes are a lot bigger because they usually capture all of the dynamic range. So you get your best audio files when they're .wav format. So I have a video which has some audio on there. So what I want to do is I want to render a piece of this into a WAV format, maybe to put it in the background of one of my videos or whatnot. So what you can do is go up to File, Render As, and then in here, make sure you have your filters off, and then you're going to go down to WAV Microsoft. Now over here, you're going to see a lot of options. And usually, the lower the hertz, the lower the quality and the higher the hertz, the higher the quality. But sometimes if you have audio recorded in a specific frequency and then you change it to another one, it's gonna sound terrible. So usually the best one you wanna stick with is 44.1 or 48. And the average you wanna keep it around is 16 bits. Maybe 24 if you wanna go, that's perfectly fine. So the one I'm gonna choose is the 48 hertz 24 bit stereo. We're gonna customize it. And then from here, you wanna keep your format as uncompressed. You can mess around with a bunch of these if you want, but the rest of these options are usually for proprietary projects. Like I need to make on hold music that's 8 hertz and it has to be 8 bit and mono. Like you'd have to choose one of these specific things because it's proprietary. So we're going to keep it uncompressed, which is going to be a bigger file size. Sample rate, you want to keep it at 4800. You don't want to go above that unless your project specifically requires to. Bit depth, we can keep it at 24 or 16. It's your call. Usually the higher number here means the higher quality. Channels. Unless you're making a cinematic movie, which has a thousand different audio sources, you're going to want to keep this most likely at stereo, because that's left and right speakers. And once you've done that, you can change this to best wave settings, and then save it. Hit OK. And there you go. Favorite it so you can find it better. And that right there is the best average wave settings you'll be wanting to use. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.